Good day all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro, I'm Mark um, and this is going to be a bit of a disorganised uh, video this one um, about 9 o'clock this morning my time Ivo announced the release of version 4.50 of APT uh, sadly I was heading out for the day to attend my uh, great niece's uh, twin little girls fourth birthday party a few hours away um, didn't get back till after dark so I've literally set up uh, downloaded and installed the update and started imaging so I haven't had much of a look at it I've had a quick look through a few things and I'll try and cover them here uh, plus everything else that's going on so what actually hap what is actually happening in there Okay, if you run Windows 10 and you keep your computer up to date, you need this update. Um, Microsoft keep changing things in Windows 10 uh, without warning and uh, until it's up and running, we don't know there's any problems and uh, it crashes APT. So if you have running Windows 10, you really need to get this update. It's available for everyone. It's a full release, but that's one of the main features of it. Um, the other things are also in there there's ascom support for uh, ports switches and hubs um, like your pegasus power boxes and uh, pocket power boxes and the hubs they have they're supported now there is a caveat with them i'll cover in a minute um, as well as there is now ascom support for flat panels and telescope covers um, that's something that's been in the works for a little while but it's good to see it's out there um, for those who didn't had ones that are ASCOM supported and didn't have the native supported one. Um, I've been fine, I've got a uh, Pegasus Flatmaster and it's been supported for a while. But uh, for others who have just ASCOM drivers, they are now supported. Um, there's changes to the gear and tools tabs, uh, new pop-up panels. Um, mostly, basically the gear related stuff that was on the tool tables tool tab has now been moved to the gear tab um, making it more sensible plus the addition of the controls for your flat panels and switches and hubs uh, there's updates to the object browsers some of them are very good and come in quite handy uh, there's updates to drivers more stability fixes and just too much to list here so i'm actually imaging right now so we're going to be looking at it while i'm imaging um, and i'll show you what i can there's a few things in settings and that i can't get into simply because you can't get the settings while imaging but um, i'll cover those parts in their own particular videos there's a few of them i'm going to have to update for this so i'll get along to them uh, so what's actually in the release and here's whoops that's my imaging session <laughs> i meant to go here um so what this is what we're getting so the critical updates for windows 10 users for kb5035941 crashing apt there's general stability improvements focus craft data craft image browser and a few other bits and pieces that were causing a bit of a problem uh, as i said the added ascom support for port switches and hubs and for flat panels and telescope covers uh, that's been in the works for a while as i said and it's good to see it there uh, things like the rotator and auto star from the gear panels are now buttons with pop-up panels rather than being sections on the gear tab uh, web cameras indigo indie extra devices lens controls uh, have been moved from tools to the gear tab and of course this led to the tools tab also being rearranged and of course there were also the controls for the uh, flat panels and your hubs and switches are on there as well in the gear tab in your gear tab i'm sorry my throat's a bit raw at the moment okay uh, there's 25 new notification sounds including one for pl failed plate solving um, if you don't want to use these a button has been added in to checkbox has been added on the usb monitor where you can disable just the new sounds but that's up to you i'll show you those ones <coughs> object browsers had some work in it um, there's able to set up through your deep sky customer to do uh, triggers for session craft i'm not sure how that one works but i'll have to have a look into that later uh, i'm not going to interfere with it while i'm imaging at the moment um, you can now search your database uh, astrobin and telescopius uh, from your object browsers um, just a basic click on those buttons will take you to the 
either your browser or the websites for Astro Bin and Telescopius and show you images of that target. Um, if you hold down shift for Astro Bin, it'll give you a more uh, refined search for it. If you shift click on it, uh, for Telescopius, it takes you to the um, Mosaic Planner, um, the object viewer, instead of images of it, so you can frame your image or make a uh, mosaic or whatever you like. I'll show you all that. Uh, one good addition is in your Deep Sky tab, you have an Add to To Do button. Uh, a shift click on that will now add it to the custom instead, rather than having to add it to the to do and then move it from your to-do list to the custom list you can now put it straight on the custom list uh, some new commands and parameters to deal with your um, pl flat panels and switches so you can now set up you know like a, a plan for your end of night to take your flat panels after the end of night or whatever so rather than having to go out and do it manually and get it all got done and everything else you now do it all, all automatically uh, the shift key when you hold it down when you're starting APT, which prevents your gear from being loaded, will now also prevent uh, PhD2 from starting automatically if you have that enabled in the settings. Um, you can now have a shared folder for your custom to-do and checklists. Uh, this is handy if you have multiple computers, you can share one file folder from between it. Um, I'm gonna have to try and set that up for my uh, processing PC here where I do a lot of my planning and everything else and uh, for my imaging one so I can have them all put in one rather than different ones or if you're using multiple uh, camera setups you might be centered on one object and taking it with your telescope and you might have a wide angle lens on a DSLR uh, taking somewhere in the same region and so you can have your list shared between them that'll be handy um, you can disable autocomplete in the advanced settings tab um, and what this is while you've put in once you've put in a few uh, figures in your in a uh, box text box uh, APT automatically checks to validate you're putting in the right side of information you can now disable that automatic validation um, I don't know why you'd want to do it but you can um, autofocus aid will now remember the position between sessions uh, the brightness section settings for your flat panels that were in the extra devices panel are now moved to your filter settings tab in the settings so that's been moved there and they're used by your flat panel telescope and extra devices uh, a whole lot of new drivers support for the EOS R100 has been added a um, whole lot of updated uh, drivers and everything for ZWO and um, Canon and various other camera manufacturers, a new temper hum DLL if you're using a temper hum sensor. <coughs> the ability to use negative gain, apparently the uh, 2600 and that uh, from ZWO can use these and may be helpful, I don't know. Send me one and I'll test it. <laughs> don't ask for much. And a few other little fixes here and there along the way as well. But as I'm imaging, we'll look at what we can now while I'm imaging and we'll so I'll see how we go from there. Um, okay, so we'll start off with your flat panels and the uh, gear and, and tools tab and that to start with. So over into APT, as you see, I'm Im imaging. Oh, it's going to do a uh, fast check after this image. I'll wait, just wait for that to finish. Um, if you've never used it, um, in your plan, if you include a go to plus plus with the fast check uh, what it will do is every whatever images you you place it in or whatever I do it every well, after two images two five minute images I get it to do a fast check and it just makes sure you're still centered on your target um, it uses the image you've just taken if nothing's happened and you're on, within your distance you require um, it'll just start the plan again and keep going um, Otherwise, it'll get you back on target. That's just something I do here. Um, I'm going to have to be pretty quick here because this plan's about to end and switch to my other one. So uh, we'll start off with your gear tab. Um, as I said, your rotator um, and your auto star are now buttons to pop them up rather than fixed sections on the panel. Um, you have the contr extra control. That's for your ports and hubs and your uh, flat panels and covers and webcams extra devices 
Indigo and a, a DSLR EOS lens control has been moved over here as well. Uh, with your ports and hubs, um, I have a Pegasus Astro one, um, Pocket Power Box Advanced. I do not recommend having this on all the time simply because the amount of reporting will give you an absolutely huge log file. I'm going to connect it here uh, temporary, and if you watch the log file at the bottom here, uh, the log down the bottom here, you'll see how much it adds on. So I'm now connected to it. And as you see, it keeps going. The power box advance every second it takes a reading. Now, APT will only take it when that reading changes, but uh, taking it every second, every minor change, you know, 0.01 of a, an amp change is being reported. So you might get it every second, basically, and your log's just going to end up huge. So I don't recommend at this stage running it permanently. You might want to check it occasionally if you want to, but uh, I'm not going to keep it going, simply because the log will just end up too large. Um, I've mentioned it to Ivo and he's going to have a think about how they can change it. So I'm going to disconnect that now. But that's all there is there in that one. Um, the panel covers, these are for your uh, ASCOM supported ones. You can do it with the other ones that are already in extra devices. Um, most of these have ASCOM drivers as well. Personally, I'm going to keep using the uh, native drivers. I don't see any reason to change it. It works for me. And as I said, the um, brightness settings that you did have here are now in your filter settings in the settings dialog, which I can't get to and show you at the moment. But if you have an ASCOM panel uh, that's supported, you can do all the settings in here. I don't have one at the moment. Um, what I'll do is when I redo this, because I'm going to have to do a few new videos for the updates, I will connect mine as per through the ASCOM driver and show you how that works there. So that's what that one is there. And as I say, they've all been added as buttons down here, which has meant that the tools up the top here have been changed around. I uh, got a bit confused looking for PAPS a bit earlier, but uh, it's there now. I found it. So it's a bit shorter list now, but that's more to do with other bits and pieces rather than directly on your gear. So that's what's happening there. Um, oh, pardon me. Now I'll go back to our list here. What have we got next? Oh, yeah, the sound notifications. Okay, so the sound notifications, um, they're there automatically. If you don't want to use the new ones, any of them, you simply... Uh, on the top here there's a checkbox you can turn that off to uh, turn off the more sound notifications um, I generally don't have the sound notifications on I'm never, generally not listening to it I probably should more but I'm happy enough so that's what you have there you can turn just the new sounds so it's only the new sounds that will be turned on and off with that um, Okay, so we'll go into Object Browser now. There's a few things in there. Um, so Alt-O will get me my Object Browser. Now, the first thing you will notice is you have your in Astro Bin, in Telescopius, and your database search buttons. So just clicking on one of these uh, on your database, it opens up your database and provides you with what you've got in your database for those objects. So this is what I'm imaging now, so they're done. Um, I don't know what the shift click on it does. I didn't look. Ah, right, so it doesn't have... So if you see here, it has just the NGC, the actual name. It provides you with a uh, more strict search. As you see on this one, it... No, oh, that was... I did a strict search again, sorry. Uh, just a normal click on it you have percentages so it might get other ones that are similar to it um, I did have ones where I was naming this this couple of objects in this one that I'm doing right now and I actually did have them named for both of them so uh, it's not in this database that I've got at the moment we just stray oh so I redid it so that's what that does okay so then you have your Astrobin and Telescopius. These both work very similar. 
Um, I use Telescopius a lot. Uh, Astrobin, if you just click on them by themselves, it will open it up and you'll get a list of images similar to what you've searched for. So there's all the ones for the Statue of Liberty on um, Astrobin. Very similar to what you'd get if you just clicked on it in um, Telescopius as well. So if you go to Telescopius, and you'll get the same thing. Shift clicking on them. Uh, on Astro Bin, it gives you again a narrower search, a more specific search for it. Um, so that's what that does there, the same as you got in your database. Now with Telescopius, if you shift click on that, it instead takes you to your planner in Telescopius. Um, so this is what I use this quite often for planning. So this is your telescope simulator. And from here, I've got all my equipment listed, all my different lenses and, and telescopes and my cameras. Um, you can do a mosaic, create the mosaic or whatever from here and export all that and import it into APT. But it's just to show you, so this is in my uh, custom, or it's in my to-do list at the moment. I normally put this in the custom list because it's not a specific target. It's just an, a region. So the Statue of Liberty and the other uh, nebulosity that's around it is what I'm capturing tonight. But that's what that does there, and I'll find it very handy. I don't know about you, but I will. Uh, so, um, okay, I'll go back to the other thing you have, um, the add triggers. They're on. These are all on your custom page and your deep sky page as well, um, down here. And um, like I said, I don't know how the add trigger one works exactly yet, but I'll get into that in a later one. Um, but it's to work with session craft. Now you have your add to in to do list here, and this is a quite handy. I'm I'm glad Ivo's done this because previously you had to do add to to do, then go to your to do list and transfer it to your custom list. But by holding down shift click, so I've got M16 selected here. Hold down shift and click on it. It is now added directly into the custom list rather than having to go through to do to get it back into your custom list. So. I'm going to delete that now because I don't need that in there at the moment. So I'll just leave that one there. Um, and that's that. Uh, that's it for Object Browser. Uh, what else have we got? I'm going to go back and have another quick look. Um, I'm not going to worry about the commands and everything else. These are all for your flat panels and, and your covers and, and your hubs. Um, it's just handy for uh, automating things later in the in the uh, evening at the end of an evening doing your flats or whatever um, and everything else I'm showing you there um, as I said your extra devices now have no longer have your brightness settings it's now in the filter wheel settings I don't know whether that's a good thing or not um, I've mentioned it to Ivo because I used to like having the uh, flats aid and the extra devices with the settings in there open together where you could quickly change the uh, brightness percentage but now you've got to go in open up uh, your settings go in change it save the settings uh, take your test exposure go back in change it again if you need to and I just think it'll be a bit harder that's all that's just me um, but I think that just about covers everything in here that we need to as I said a few of these things are going to need uh, their own new um, settings uh, new videos done for them simply because there's a lot of big changes so object browser um, the new settings for the tabs and for the new gear that's been supported i'll have to do all that anyway and i'll go into it in more detail then but that's it for now um, i'm just i am finished here uh, this is about to finish this image what have i got 20 seconds and I'll be changing targets so off from there over to the Triffid Nebula so I hope you all found this useful as I said Windows 10 users get this update you need it otherwise APT will be crashing and you will get extremely frustrated but uh, that's it for tonight I hope you've all found this useful and I wish you all clear sky and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for dropping by. See yous.